Hello princesses, it's me, Sponge Nine 64 in the Cynical, and welcome back to Block C. Kind of. This is actually Block C behind the uh, scenes. So yeah, we're gonna go kind of behind the scenes of Block C. I mean I'm gonna at least show you like the world and stuff. I mean Yeah, so because the series is over, I might as well, you know, show you around the map a little. So yeah. I think the first thing we should get started on, I guess, is this. Is Block City, the Great Tower of Block City. Now, you, now there are two ways up, and and it's actually pretty difficult to show, actually. But yeah, this puzzle here was actually... Well, most of these puzzles, that, by the way, were made by me. In fact, the entire map was made by me. And yeah, and yeah, this is actually one of the first times I used, by the way, a um, as an observer for a puzzle. As you can see, by the way, sometimes. This railway course is actually like it loops back on each other. I mean, you can see like you're going everywhere. It's... The idea of this is you're meant to get to over here where this ladder is. Most of these tricks were just pulled off with mere redstone, by the way. It's not really much. I mean. This is actually one of the few things in the world that actually activates that kind of, has, you know, the most intricate into it. I mean, although then again, the going, this house here actually has its own lighting. Don't believe me? Look. See, it literally has its own lighting. In fact, if I were to turn off lighting, it would actually go off. And this is one of the few houses that actually has that. Which is pretty cool if you think like that. So yeah, here we have, I guess, one of the houses for sale. Which is actually based off of my Auntie Jenny's house. In fact, all these houses across these streets are actually based off of it. And one thing you might not have actually been able to see is this in the window, which you wouldn't be able to see. I don't think so anyway. I mean, you'll probably be able to see it if you're really good. Also, no, that not all the enemies are spawned in. But another thing that's all kind of that I actually did is I actually filled every possible house with rooms. So every house in Block C is legit a house, it's not just like, you know, you can actually go in here is what I mean, and you can actually like, explore them. Now most of them are the same, so it's pretty, so you know, there's no real reason to explore it, but you know, but that stands for pretty much every house, I mean, there are some unique situations like this, this is its own build, and some other things like that, the college. But otherwise, mo more or less, it, nearly everything is basically a sim. Well, I can't say every house is the same, but you know what I mean. Basically, in a row, like these houses along here are exactly the same inside and out. The same goes for these houses along here and those houses over there, and and even these houses, kind of. The mansions are relatively the same. I mean, yeah. By the way, this place wasn't actually here originally, I just put it here so you couldn't like jump to there and jump to there. You actually had to make a more harder jump. The houses over here are relatively the same, the... Yeah, also, um, this isn't actually the full map, I mean, Jeffrey's grave isn't actually here. I can't use the full map because, you know, the wither kind of destroyed it. If I remember correctly, one of these graves actually has a cave, which is the cave I actually came out of when I came a zombie. It actually exists. And that's 
let's get in, no, and let's not forget this a face of steam which was fairly fun to make although there is actually an easter egg here by the way Jesus was here and this actually is an easter egg that you wouldn't be able to see and I don't think I actually would have seen it <laughs> Anyway, you also yeah, there is of course the other Easter egg over here, which is of course the Troll under a bridge. Of course, I actually saw that one when I was recording. Although, yeah, well, you get the point. It's, you can only ever see it for a few certain amount of time. I'm not sure if there was an Easter egg in here. Oh wait, no there was, there was that stuff in there, because the dentist stuff, basically. There was also an easter egg in the opticians, which you might have seen, although I didn't comment on it, and that is the letters here. If you actually read it, though, it, it actually says Adrian Z. Senderquill. <laughs> I thought I would add that sort of thing. You know, I wanted to make the... So yeah, you know, I wanted to make this place intricate with all the treasure chests and... and stuff yeah, and one of the secret areas was back here way back here and this is all done by retina of course as you can see so yeah there's no tricks here yeah, I'm not gonna save so I don't need to worry if I break anything because I'm just trying to show to show with the pet arena but there is something over here I think I think again by the way these houses along here are all identical and the ones a lot and those two are also identical well they're not houses they're more they're, they're mansions really but you know what I mean This is um, the hardest escape, by the way. Like, as you can see, this is kind of a puzzle, and it tells you where the piston is. And actually, underneath here is actually all the redstone, which all ma which is what made it possible to do what it does. In fact, if I grab a lever or a button, I guess it doesn't really matter. You can actually see it in action, and much better. You could actually deactivate it and it would still work and yeah this does lead up by the way the thing is it, you just can't go back down if you take it yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, and these train tracks are here place under block city is also here always like everything is actually here like proper like if it were like if it were authentic so you know I didn't do any tricks I didn't build it all this were naturally here kind well I well I'd say authentic like loosely there are some things of course that I had that I kind of had to do but you know but they were very minimal the things I did were very minimalist changes. Everything, is, otherwise, this is basically the exact layout of when you would, so of when I started. There's even, a, and there's also a, a belt map, but so we'll read them. Belt map, map. This may, this map was made uh, on Xbox 360 by his friend and I six years ago. If you wish to use this map for YouTube purposes, please add a link. I can't find a link myself. But you can find it, blah blah blah. This map is in English. 
This map can, it can be used for RPs, hunger games, mod reviews, mods versus maps, which is for popular MOs, I guess, etc. And, and yeah, it took me several hours, or it didn't take several hours, it, it, it took me days, actually, weeks, because I started building in September 2017 and I finished um, January uh, in 2018. And yeah, I started with the walls, then the roads, and the important buildings and everything else. I hope you enjoyed the world. And this is just um, about Block City. It just tells you, like, tells you, you know, just a tour guide. Although I never actually entered this building. Now I'm going to hop on over to my other world quickly. Alright, we're here. So. Yeah. Okay, in this world, basically, this is just the build for Block City. You can see all of the different things I used, like. Yeah. I think I actually moved this shop. I actually can't tell wh which version this was, but basically, this is basically the kind of build for Block City. Like, you can see all the different. Where, you can see where all the houses would be, then you can also see where the pub is, and yeah, most... This is basically just like a... Like a blueprint of the map, so you can see like where everything would be. It's basically the map in its most barrenest form. However, yeah, I did do all of... I built all the roads, however, and I did do, I think, some buildings. Like, um, I did do, um, I did do the shop deck. Well, I think that was Terence who did that, actually. Um, although I think, actually, no, I think I did some of these shops. And I also did the train stations, which does work, by the way. As you can see, it goes left, right, etc. We don't need to really go into too much detail. But the thing that isn't here is the nether portals. They're not here. And as you can see, the Great Tower of Fox City is just tower. It's cool to see, like, it's cool, you know, to see it, and yeah. Now, I did have some of the story plan, like, here we have the, like, here it says AM, which is basically Abandoned Mansion. Here is just a mansion, and here is, an, an, and this means Mega Mansion. And over here is actually a shop, which I never actually showed. Yeah, another thing is, the fire station's markings isn't here, nor is the, but, but there are, yeah, there are some things I did change, and if I wanted to make a place for sale, I just did this, MS. So it's like mansion for sale. And yeah, this is, by the way, these are actual kind of authentic. I mean, you can see the trade is in there, but nothing else is. Also, some of the roads aren't actually here as well, either. For example, there was a road here that, that led to over here. There also, there was more... There was Also, there was a place over here on the ocean. And way over here, but, you know. So, yeah, I like to call this the draft map. Anyway. You know, here was that shop by the way I was talking about. Like it actually exists, and it's pretty expensive shop actually, and pretty weird because you have to. Yeah, although it does have an enchantment table. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I'm sure, in, I'm sure in the behind the scenes of this map because you know I just wanted to give, I just wanted to, like to give a little bit insight to the actual depth for that of everything but to show you that everything it, that you see everything that was made in this world is completely legit the only thing that's not legit is that library mentioned in um, the book that I, in that book that um, President Weaver has it's because the library he mentions is not this library it's actually a different one but that library doesn't actually exist at all but it meant but it's mentioned basically anyway now let's go to um, this house. This is one of the houses I actually bought, <laughs> and yeah, it's you know it's pretty basic. It's got you know a basement with a bedroom. You 
it's got a second floor with you know another bedroom and a toilet. It doesn't have a shower though, <laughs> so it lacks that. But yeah, and you can see um, the, one of the abandoned houses here. The next house I got was over here actually. Well, the actual farm does run even when um even when you're not here because these are mobs actually spawned in legit by me. <laughs> and yeah, here's another house. House which does also have a basement and this house is is kind of is kind of cool. It's got an upstairs, it's got its own toilet, it's a, another bedroom and it's got a way to the roof. The other house we got was over here and this house was pretty big actually as you can you guys saw it was you know it's pretty good. It's got its it got it's got a downstairs toilet, it's got a basement which has a Yoshi statue in it. kitchen it's got a sitting room which is actually kind of bigger which I had to kind of do some cheating for if you actually look on the outside I couldn't do it that because I couldn't do it in the space it was actually inside to make it bigger and go slightly over to the shop otherwise it would be like really tight and here is just another bedroom don't really need to show much about it not much to say really but then we got upstairs and we have an actual shower and a toilet another bedroom which is actually the room I stayed in when I came here and another room yet again. There's also an ag as you guys saw which is up here and it's legitimately leads to the rooftop. And that slime block is always here by the way. Moving on, I think that's the last house I got which was here. And um, yeah, it's just pretty. It's pretty basic. Well, it's a mansion really. It's got its own downstairs where it has a kind of bedroom, and that's really it. There's nothing really else down here. I was thinking about having like a storage area, but you kind of already have one over here. And over here, we do have a kitchen, which is here. <laughs> and yeah, you saw how many furnaces were in there, it's ridiculous. Yeah. We actually have a bedroom, we have a bathroom, and then we have a storage. We, this also is one of the few houses in the entire world to have a balcony. There's one also over there. And yeah, I actually think these two are the only two to have a balcony. This house and the house over there, and that mega mansion. This mansion and the other mega mansion over there has is the only place that actually have a balcony. Over here is the room I stayed in actually, and then we have another toilet, and yet we also have, uh, and we have a place to the roof, which has even more things. And yeah, this this house is doesn't have proper electricity because if I actually mine below it. Yeah, she's actually is just redstone blocks far in it, but yeah. yeah. The mall is... Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, the mall is always here. The only thing you might not be able to see is people, and this door here actually leads to all of the um, back areas. It's like here, if you want, ever wanted to go back so yeah, this is one of the areas, like display areas, and then you've also got this area, which is a mining base area. Yeah. Yeah. The villages are always here. I mean, unless they're killed by some means. Okay, that actually kind of scared me, this guy did. Yeah, all these are legit. And there's just one more really, there's just one more real thing I need to show, really. Uh, 
and that is um, one area I didn't really go to. I don't know where the entrance to it is. Oh, there it is. This is one area I never actually went to. But it, it's just really an empty room, so I don't know why I would ever go to it anyway. <laughs> I actually don't even know if that room's filled or not, but yeah. But that's pretty much it. All the stuff on the map, if you want to... I will put a download to this map someday, I can't say when. I mean, I would have to get it converted to X to, from Xbox to computer, which would take a bit, but you know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Boop.